folks just tuning in, I'm MTG Joe, and uh, we are going to be playing some more standard post-ban, Omnath, Lucky Clover, and Escape to the Wilds are banned. Uh, a lot of mill style strategies running around like we just played in a Demir Rogues build. Um, so this is the deck that we just played against our opponent. This is a Rakdos mid-range deck. Uh, the core of this deck is from another creator, Samsoni1. Uh, he's currently number four on the ladder with this. Um, this, his list was post-ban, uh, or pre-ban, so the sideboard, I just made a revision to have, um, I went down Shredded Sails, and I think I went up another Eliminate, just that. We don't need as much artifact removal now that, uh, Clover's gone, um, but the core of the deck is leveraging off your graveyard. The goal is to fill your graveyard and then find copies of Croxa, Titan of Death's Hunger, uh, escape it, and kind of attack your opponent's hand. There's a lot of flexible removal in the deck. Blood Chief's Thirst, Spike Field Hazard, Heartless Act, The Shattering, Bone Crusher Giant, Murderous Rider. Uh, you fuel your graveyard through Mire Triton, Timeret, and Magmatic Chandler. Uh, and then on the top end, you also have Liliana to discard, as well as Rankle. Uh, some Hagra's Mauling as well as for removal. You got Scavengers in the main. Um, I hate how it does this, where your Fabled Passages always... Uh, defaults to three and one because of the alternate printing uh mana base pretty simple we don't have pathways and rectos the sideboard you have a cling to dust some soul guide lanterns for the mirror agonizing remorse eliminates uh clave comes in in heavy removal situations or more mill uh shredded sail for flyers and artifacts scavengers are good against gruel as well as um mono green and then an ox just to come in against the heavy removal or mill style strategies. So let's fire this up. We are currently top 200, 197. Let's see how we do. Actually, before we pop off, let me just give Arena a quick reset. Sorry about that. Been going for about an hour, so let's have a fresh client, no delays. Um, for those tuning in for the first time, I'm MTG Joe stream three to five times a week usually uh play a mix of standard and historic frequently five of the last six months i've been top 1200 uh primarily in historic um but yeah let's fire this up and i find always about an hour into streaming if i don't restart the client that we start getting that like leg Playing Daisy, number 245 on the ladder. Sounds probably fine. Okay, we can, uh, we can stop drawing lands. That'd be super sweet. Opponent could be same deck as us, most likely, or Gruel. Um, probably just want another black source with having two reds in hand. I think I'm going to get the Chandler ideally going first. If I can get this to filter my draws, it'll be better. We are a little land heavy. No blocks here. The trade in will offset some of the life loss. we actually just do this. I'll attack for one here. We couldn't cast Liliana anyways. Set up with a scry. I'll try trade the tridents at this point. Next turn, I'll probably activate this ability. Oh, got the spike field. I haven't cracked that. It's 
So they'll have the double crack, but the only landfall is if they play uh, Skyshade Clave. We can, like if they play another Triton, we have this effect. Opponent's start has been a little better than ours. We've milled the wrong half. Rankles, a problem. Hopefully they force the sacrifice here. They don't. So... I can't kill this quite yet. See what we get here. Let's get timer right going. Hitting Crocs is nice. It's our play for the following turn, most likely. So we don't have too much for. Agademes right now, but I think that's better late game, so we'll just get our basics into play. Let's play this to make it seem like we have Spike Field Hazard. Croxa, I may hold off on Croxa. We'll see what they play. I, I kind of want to get this Rankle off the battlefield. Ah, at least they did something. They didn't do the preemptive not actually do something which player sacks creature ah well that's just unfortunate arena crashed and i lost my turn so let's just concede this one ah we we're in a good spot there okay so this matchup I think Kling comes in, Soul Guide, probably eliminates. Can I get rid of Murderous Rider? Yeah, Arena crashed at the worst time. By the time we got back, the game had already uh, passed turn. I think we run it like this, just overload on removal, win through Croxus. Do I want this as another answer to Croxa? We have a few. I think we're okay. That's really unfortunate. Not the way I wanted to start. We'll go Meyer trade in into Nighthawk Scavenger here, probably. So my intention was to create a zombie and then escape back Croxa, perhaps, or just use the removal to kill one of their things. Okay, so they hit their Croxa. I think we do this. Forces their turn to play out removal, and it just fills our graveyard if need be. I'm trying to get this Croxa going. EDH player, thanks for the follow. Appreciate the support. Apologies for those just tuning back in. Uh, arena crashed. We timed out of the game one, lost a turn, and opponent was able to kind of get ahead. 
opponent's mana base is not that great right now. Elspeth Conquers Death certainly is a, a powerful card. Um, so I kind of want to hold this Croxa back, to be honest, then. Let's just get rid of this. Um, they have to decide between Agadim and um, Blood Chief's Thirst here. I could Crocs up. I ah, will just hold off here. They're going to exile my graveyard anyways. This card actually seems really good for the mirror. Maybe we play this over the Lantern. The fact it kills, discards, and exiles. Okay, so they got their one mountain. They have Rankle here. Let's get a, another black source. Interesting line here is if they force us to sacrifice here. And they have the village rights in their deck. So if they get a red source, they're act they can escape their Croxa. So the question I think comes, do we... So they're, they're on a village rights plan as well. Yeah, so they can escape their Croxa if they have a red source, if not... We do need some action. Like another timerette would be nice. It's probably the best draw for us. Cling to dust would also be good to get rid of their Croxas. This card did a number on us. Nope, just rankle again. These rankles have been timely. I'm imagining the sacrifice is relevant here for them. And the discard. Just a second Croxa. That's uh, not what we want. I'm actually going to hold this in hand. Because if they play their Croxa, I'll just discard it. It gets me closer to escaping my Croxa. Second Nightmare is kind of annoying. I'm really annoyed with game one. Agadeems. Um, they're going to take this Eliminate anyways. Which would have been a good answer for Croxa. Kind of surprised they played their Agadim up. Could have got Meyer Trident back. Just fill the yard. Soul Guide Lantern would be an okay draw. Just hard casts. Okay, Scavenger's not bad. Might be able to race them. Just hope they kind of brick here. It's something. It's going to help break the stalemate. Shatter Skull. Also a decent draw. Because if they draw Croxa, 
we lose it anyways, so... Might as well kill this. Like, if they draw a mountain, we're losing it. The escape can also strategically take out cards from the graveyard to shrink this down. So we got a Thirst left, Cling would be decent, Heartless Act we have two, haven't hit any of our Shades, three Crocs is left as well. Timer Red again is probably one of our better draws, Rankle would be good. Okay, so this looks like it's Croxa. They get rid of enchantments, which they have two of. Instant, which they have one. And they don't have, and they can get rid of lands. Two power. Shade's not really that. can't really afford to draw a card. We still have like two attackers in. Like the life gain has been relevant this match. Opponent's digging. They need an answer. Got him. Fortunate with game one. Otherwise, we could have uh, been a bit more in this one. Um, so maybe we don't want the shades. Play a couple murderous riders. Do we want murderous rider? I'm a little leery of having like these expensive cards. Uh, okay, maybe we trim one, play the scavenger, play the remorse. Do we want remorse? I guess they can pick off Croxes in the graveyard. The lifelink could be relevant there. Yeah, let's try it like this. I don't think we want to go full board. Opponent did have a pretty awkward mana base. Kind of the downside of Rakdos without the pathway. Sounds probably okay. I think we fetch mountain, play Hagra tapped. Never mind, we do this. Trade in on two. Do this. So ideally, untapped land. Untapped land lets us play our curve out a bit better. We weren't drawing another land, at least in the top three. Second Croxa. I think we get rid of the Murderous Rider here. Spike Fields. 
is something. Still think we put it into play tapped. This lets me untap with Fable Passage if we draw a four drop. If not, I just play Timer at. Elspeth's Nightmare. Tis a tad awkward. I'm gonna save this Fabled Passage for now. Um, let's get rid of Murderous Rider. I can get Croxa back next turn. Here they'll have to decide between these two to get rid of. My turn's gonna be Crocs, uh, just because I want to get it out of my graveyard. I think we want to switch to the Nightmares in the sideboard. I originally had these in there, the Soul Guide, but this is doing a lot more work. Super, super relevant in the mirror. Even against, like, rogues, I can see it being quite impactful. Gonna hold off cracking the passage as well till after the exile goes on stack uh, it doesn't really matter here they're gonna exile my graveyard Again, doesn't really matter. This chapter three gets rid of our graveyard. This could be removal. This kind of helps them out just with getting their Crocs into play. annoying the one th good thing about rider being the removal spell is um, it doesn't fuel any more the graveyard that's quite annoying so what we lose a murderous rider we still have a rankle all our bone crushers We've lost three timerettes, which kind of hurts. So I'm going to fetch now before this goes on the stack. Because then it sets us up for our scries. I'm going to eliminate this, lets me keep putting the pressure on. Uh, Let's get another red source here. Um, I actually like both of those. Question is, are they gonna be able to get, I think we do it in this order. Agonizing to take out one of them ideally. This shuffles in, it doesn't go to their graveyard. If they do find a way to escape Croxa, I want to hold the swamp just to discard the swamp.
They would need like cling to like a land cling to dust or spike field hazard or like duress to be able to escape Croxa. If not, this agonizing remorse can take one out of their graveyard. Well, that's scary. Discard the land. Actually, a pretty good trade for us. Because what I can do is if I eat one of these, then they have to escape their other Croxa. They have double Hagra's Mauling. We're going to have to discard that anyways. So here, like, they escape Croxa, but they have to escape their other one. So if I get another Exile effect, it's a bit better. We Blood Chief's Thirst it. That gets rid of it for a couple turns. Then they can Hagra's Mauling. I would really like our rankle. Meyer Trident's really good. That's a fantastic draw for them. We can trade here. That puts another card in their graveyard. I just want to keep putting pressure on them. And Hagra's mauling. Where's our card advantage? Soul Guide Lantern. Ooh, Bone Crusher's nice. Put some close to dead. Like I can hold it back, but I just want to present close to lethal. They can Hagar's mauling it, but they take two damage. So then rankle off the top's lethal. Also could potentially set us up with like Croxa being lethal. Like this, like this, probably this. That exile of our graveyard really hurt early. Mire trade in even at this point. Eliminate, cling to dust. Like there's a lot of cards that would be beneficial here. I think we have two castles in our deck, one castle. Main phase mauling, okay. GG's. Got him. All right, so the first game was kind of a pain, but we're up to 118. Uh, let's make that switch to put the Elspeth's Nightmares in instead of um, Soul Guide Lantern. Also get a pack of Zendikar. Let's see what our pack gives us. Ah, garbage card. So, Nightmare. Really liked what this did in the mirror. Let's run one more. Not bad, 3-0 and so far. Able to get uh, quite high up, 118. One eleven. Put 
opponent goes first. Our mana's awful. Okay, we'll keep this. Let's put the Agademes away. Yeah, let's put the Agademes. Uh, let's put the Passage away. No. Agademe. We draw Croxa, then I want... Mono green. So we'll go Triton. Oh, Gruel. I'd prefer to keep that myself, opponent. Um, so the Chandler blocks better against Robber. Can Meyer trade in next turn? Because this, like, they can attack, I block, they stomp, that's fine. That takes their turn, but with the trade in, then they just get in the attack for free. I'd rather this stay um, as a death touch blocker. They've also given themselves at least shock for three, so this can be Kazandu Mammoth. Could be Primal Might. Again, if they're using their Primal Might now, I'm happy with that. Frankel can get some chip damage in. Looks like Primal Might. Can you not? Like, really, can you not? Spike Field is probably the best card they could have drawn there off us. Would have liked that. Bone Crusher. So they attack, trigger on the stack, play Spike Field Hazard. I can play Liliana. Give this minus three, which might be best. Oh my god, can you stop opponent? So this is an interesting turn. So Liliana gets rid of this, I take five. I think we do, because this lets them hit the Bone Crusher. They're kind of incentivized to attack Liliana. Then next turn I could Rankle and Blood Chief's Thirst this Robber of Riches. Force a discard. And then keep my Rankle. Try to race him that way. This could be Embercleave. So they can play out my Bone Crusher Giant. Okay, them doing that is actually really good. Um, so I get the swamp and I'll get a mountain here. Play out Rankle. Destroy this. Um, do I want to? Kind of worried about Embercleave. Because that just tends us. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Just kills their next thing. So they did have cleave, so we would have been in a bit of trouble. Can you not like just draw the perfect card? Because now they get to play our timer at or our bone crusher. So 
So I think we... See where they... Probably lost this one. They drew Robber into Bone Crusher, play our others. They get to play their Bone Crusher, and then I'm dead. Yeah, Temple of Malice ain't enough. Eliminates Scavengers. Opponent's robber just drew us like real rough. I think we cut a Croxa. Uh... I don't think we want the nightmares. They're not as relevant. These Chandlers are just garbage. Do I want anything else? Don't know why you're doing that. Um probably just Crocs over that, at least gets a card out of their graveyard. This matchup shouldn't be too bad, like they are a bit more aggressive than us. Post board, they probably bring in something like Clothis if they have it. We want Lions here. Probably do Meyer trade in into Croxa. Hey Frosty, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by. is pretty good here. Um, do I keep this or do I kill this? Let's see if they offer the trade here. Just get cards out of... <laughs> Should be able to just um, click the button, Frosty. It'll uh, follow uh, the little heart. So they're playing Questing Beast in there. So this isn't the exact version from like Autumn Lily. Kazandu Mammoth, probably fine. We can block. I think we get this going. Try to get this Croxa. They could have Ember Cleave, which wouldn't be the best. If they go like Mountain Ember Cleave, it's pretty rough. Okay, Ooze. It's gonna make this Croxa harder to hit. So we're probably gonna go Scavenger, or ideally Land. Okay, perfect. Let's get rid of Rankle. This kind of forces their hand. And then... This is an interesting turn. So I can set up for Croxa. Or I can Nighthawk Scavenger. I think we Nighthawk Scavenger and then double Croxa the rest of their hand away. Just hold back here. Uh, so this is uh, Rakdos Midrange or Rakdos uh, Self Mill, Rakdos Croxa. The intent of the deck is to self mill yourself into Croxa and then uh, cast it earlier. A lot of the meta since the bans today um, 
is kind of mill focused, both self mill or your opponent milling you. So you're going to see a lot more of these like escape style threats. Okay, that's actually pretty solid because now I can double Croxa here. Um, I think the Bone Crusher is where we want to be. Do I want to land? Nah. So I'm doing this because this will make the Nighthawk Scavengers uh, bigger, potentially. Ideally, this gets rid of like Ember Cleave. Nope, just another Scavenging Ooze, which is probably decent. Next turn, I get Croxa back. So they are pretty live to like a top deck cleave. But we got two Questing Beasts out of the way and two Scavenging Oozes. Croxa kills very quickly. Okay, got him. Got him. Um, since they are on edge wall, Scavenging Ooze gets around this. I think we run it the same. Liliana's just like more removal that I like having her in. Late game, it can also just be pressure. We're going to be trading like one for one a lot, either through removal or discard. That's going to be a no for me. Sounds very slow. Well, let's hope for the best. Slow start by the opponent. Well, eliminate Elise as a play on two. We have two draw steps to hit a third land. Then we should be able to at least Hey, Turex, uh, 3 and 0, uh, 2 0 with Rogues, 1 0 so far with this Rakdos list. We're in almost top 100, um, but mulled really awkwardly here. And I don't think we are going to be able to get out of this. How's it going yourself? How's the, uh, the streaming going? Land. This is peak Rakdos. Yep. Hey, how about a 5-3 drops? Yeah, we're dead. That's unfortunate. Not the way I wanted to go down there. Drop like 100 spots. Let's give this one one more go. I don't think mulliganing to five when we're trading like one for one a lot makes sense. So that hand, like you have two lands, you can probably recoup those timerets, make a lot of blockers, which against everything other than questing beast is relevant. Hey Freebird, how's it going? I think we get Swamp here on one. Could be mono green from the opponent. Stone Colio. So I'm not going to show them the red mana yet. Red Phoenix, thanks for the follow. 
Uh, next turn is probably Timoret. If they play out the Love Struck, probably just take the five. Or Timoret should, or at least minimum, will create a blocker. They take three here. Let's see if they attack in with Stone Coil. That's interesting, because I can, I think we just take the one. The thought here is it could potentially shut off Lovestruck Beast, but I can't see them being that, like, ill-advised to attack unless they can create another 1-1. One, one. Where's my Croxas? Next turn, Rankle can be blocked by the Stone Coil. Oh, this is just Gruel. That's a pretty free trade for us. Yeah, so they had the other love struck. Um, okay, so there's Croxa. Get rid of Meyer Trident. So mana wise. Yeah, I think we Croxa here. They've been kind of strapped on mana th this game, it seems. Right, we milled a lot of lands. Pretty free attack. So them doing this when they didn't play out the land is interesting. Gem Razor, it's fine. We'll Murderous Rider it. Take six this turn. So that lets me Murderous Rider and Magmatic. Let's just soak up a little damage here. So I can do this main. Just play with Chandler. Attack with Croxa. This is just gonna get chomped. Let's just do this now. in case they have any sort of weird protection spell. Most of the Gruel lists aren't playing both Stone Coil and uh, Lovestruck Beast, so. So here we have an interesting line. I think what we do is we attack with this. If they double block, I can Hagra's Mauling something. I still think we do we Hagra's mauling. Like just shut this off altogether. I think I wanna hit a land drop. That's actually really good. This means they can attack with the Love Struck Beast. So they need either a one drop or because like I was worried about Cleave potentially. Yeah. Got him. This is an eliminate. Nightmare seems a lot more relevant in this matchup as well as these. Um, these Chandlers again just aren't doing enough. Maybe trim a nightmare. Spike field seems relevant in this matchup. 
Rankle's probably not as good. Because they have a lot of reach in their deck. With like Gem Razor and stuff. I wonder if they keep in Gem Razor. All they saw from us was um, like Timerette, which you don't really need to like get off the table. The thing I love doing against an aggro deck is shocking myself for three. The hand's pretty great otherwise. A bunch of two mana removal. Um, so let's get the swamp. Almost screwed up there. So I'm going to use the Stomp here because it's less relevant than Eliminate against some of the bigger stuff. What's everyone playing in chat with New Standard? Um, I think we just play out our land drops here. They can't Ember Cleave this turn, so I think this is pretty safe. Okay, Bone Crusher. Black Source would be great. Would love a Black Source. Or not. Like, just no. Um, I guess we're doing this. Orzhov Clerics. Nice. You playing like a um, reanimation style one? Weird. Stream Decker's not up. One sec, Grim. I'll, uh, I'll link the deck in a sec. Should be working. Weird. Well, if we can stop milling our lands, that would be greatly appreciated, deck. I think we just passed the turn here. So here they might try to go all in on the Kazandu Mammoth. With Ember Cleave, we can kill it. Yeah, I gotta check. It might have been when uh, Arena crashed. It's not picking up the OBS extension, but the deck's right there. Sure. Thank you, opponent, for letting me know where to block. Can we, like, just draw lands just, like, one time? So here they can go to Equipped. I'll kill it with the Heartless Act. Take two. We got a land drop, folks. Uh, Bone Crusher's probably... Nah. That's my Trident. I guess Bone Crusher's better if they draw a Questing Beast. Which we haven't seen out of them. Just hard cast Gem Razor.
Just kill this. No attacks here. They don't have... Um, they had like it's gruel, so I'm worried about it, like haste threats. Okay, with heartless act. Like I really just want to draw lands, so let's discard bone crusher. Because my thought is, like, Croxa, take away another card from their hand. And then I have this Heartless Act. Do I just kill this now? These decks usually have Ranger's Guile. So I'm a little weary of, because with the Quipped on Bone Crusher and the Shock, then I'd be dead. I can play Scavenger next turn. Okay, Edgewall. Just equipped. It's fine. So I can't Croxa and that. I also can't do, so let's. Kill this. Discard the smashing. Play this out. Hey Titans, it's going well. Uh, lost a close one, otherwise we would have been top 100. Uh, opponent looks to be defeated emotionally at this point. I think we just trade here. It's um, Samsoni's Rakdos um, mid-range list. Uh, he got number four Mythic with it so far. Opponents on like a Gruul Adventures style list. Just got Croxa here. Just try to close this out now. Top deck. Not bad run overall today. We went four and one with the two decks. How's that? Uh, Streaming and stuff going for you, Titans? Haven't seen you live in a while. So what did we finish? What's our rank? Kind of disappointed we dropped that one game. Would have been like a clear like top 50. 138. Yeah, stream is fun. This is just more the interaction part. Like the YouTube videos, you kind of feel crazy just talking to yourself. Um, so we played two decks today. We played the Luris Mill. Um, this is uh, Seth Manfield's list with a couple changes based on the uh, bands. And then played Rakdos Midrange. This deck feels really powerful. I still am not in love with the Chandlers. I may just play more removal uh, instead of them. Or even just play Skyclave sh Shades. Um, but overall, the deck's been pretty sweet. Um, let's see who's on. I'm gonna wrap this one up. Drop a raid somewhere. Been going about two hours. Ooh, don't want to hear my voice with that. Uh, Danny's on. Why does this keep defaulting to double Twitch chat? Sorry, folks. Rumpty's on. Let's send everyone over to Rumpty. So Rumpty's the mono green wizard. I'm assuming they're on mono green. I uh, appreciate everyone stopping by. Uh, today's videos will be up on YouTube tomorrow. I uh, appreciate everyone's support as always. A lot of great content creators in the 
the chat as well. John, uh, Truax, uh, Titans fans, so check them out as well. Uh, but let's drop them into Roomtee's channel. <laughs>